All right, back here on Lewis Live, folks. If you want to get more of our episodes, you can go on YouTube, type in Long Live Lewis Live. You can also email me at longlivelewislive at gmail.com and check out all our episodes. Recently, Maccabi Haifa took a trip and played some NBA teams on the line, discussed that. Their big man, Power Ford, who's been on the show before, Ike Ovalu. Ike, welcome back to the show. Uh, thank you. Glad to be back. All right, Ike, let's uh, get down to this because I read this article and you were there. You can tell us if it's true, but there's a report that when uh, you guys played the Raptors and played them very competitively, only lost by seven points, had that 21-0 run, that uh, one of your teammates had a, a little bit of uh, trash talking going on. And uh, we just want to know if, if that was true. Apparently there was a point in the game during the 21-0 to uh, run that uh, Terrence Ross apparently, excuse me, not Terrence Ross, um, uh, your teammate Hickerson uh, did some trash talk. Want to know if that's uh, true? Yeah, that's true. I mean, we know <laughs> some of the guys over there, so we've played with them before. So, um, you know, com- as far as the competition level goes, you know, there's going to be a little bit of trash talking here and there. So, it was, you know, after he dunked the ball, he came down and started talking trash to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's Leroy Hickerson. So he wasn't doing that because he, he was crazy. He just thought, hey, I mean, we're going to play this game. We're playing to win. We're not just uh, fooling around. And he was just doing that because he dunked on the guy, right? Yeah, for sure. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was just, um, you know, the nature of the game. You're trying to win a game. It was doing a little trash talking. <laughs> now, in that game, there were a lot of Maccabi Haifa fans that went to Toronto. If you looked at certain parts of the stands, you would have thought you were in Haifa. They were so supportive. What did that mean to you guys that here you are in another country and you have this, this great fan base supporting you against the Raptors? Uh, it was big. I mean, anywhere you go and you have a, a supporting cast, it always helps you and it always motivates you to do better. So it was big. It surprised me. I looked up a couple of times, and I've seen a lot of Israeli uh, fans. So it was, it was kind of a, um, it was kind of a blessing to see. Now um, you're playing, obviously, professional basketball for a long time, and basketball your whole life. And and this is, you know, this is the NBA teams. You're going to NBA arenas, playing them. Just personally, what the, what did that mean for you to to be in this high level of of games that you've watched growing, you know, you've seen in, in t, on TV, and now it's a different element that that uh, you're there. Uh, what did that mean to you to play against these NBA teams? Um, to tell you the truth, just honored and blessed. Um, I just took it all in. I mean, I just lived in the moment, took it all in. Um, I don't really see it like that until afterwards, like during the game. It was just to me, it was just like another game. But you know, especially coming off an injury. Just tell you, just blessed to be back on the court. Yeah, let's talk about the injury because Andrew Wilson was in my ear today saying, "Hey, Ike's back. He scored you know, 15 points, and obviously this was a tough season last year for you. You never had a major injury up until that point. And how do you feel right now? Do you feel like you're back to 100 percent and ready to to play at 100 percent this season? Uh, I'm not 100 percent, but I'm close to it. Um, yeah, but during the season I'll be back 100 um, percent. I mean, like I said, I feel um, blessed and honored, especially for the owner giving me a chance. And um, I'm just thanking God every day for the opportunity to keep playing basketball. So um, I'm just looking forward to the season. And now uh, many players that I spoke with that have gone through injury, they say that the rehab is more physically draining and mentally draining than typical playing practices, playing games, even as physical as it is. What did you think? Was the rehab process more physically intensive than anything else you've done in basketball? Yeah, uh, the rehab was tough as far as, like, every it was an everyday thing, 24 hours a day, learning how to walk again, learning how to move your leg the right way. It was building a muscle. It was the toughest thing I've ever done. It was hard. Now, I mean, for a long period of time, it was tough. Now, uh, one thing also, and not to put too much uh, negative on this, I want to point out to our audience that Maccabi Haifa almost won the championship. They've lost one point by one point in overtime to Maccabi Tel Aviv. And I'm sure your team's leaving Okia Aria thinking, hey, if we had Ike, we would probably walk out as champions. I want to know if the mindset this season is thinking, you know what, we're a championship-level team. Really, we're the team to beat because now we have Ike back. I want to know if that's the thinking going on in the locker room right now. Um, having me back, I feel like the uh, locker room is a little more every, – I think everybody's a little more confident. Um, like I was talking to my teammates and my coach, I feel like we're under the radar as far as um, how good we are. I feel like we have a chance of winning it, and we just have to come together and just um, play as one unit, and we will do that. 
Maccabi Haifa won the title in 2013, and before your injury, David Doobie Pick of Eurobasket said that you guys were going to win because they, the feeling that you would put him over the top. So almost two titles in a row, and we'd look at number three if not for your injury. So my question to you is, why do you think that you guys are under the radar considering the success you've had in the past couple of seasons? Uh, I just feel like... Um... Uh, the Israeli league, not knowing players, especially players coming from Latin America, not knowing how good they are because they're under the radar themselves, I feel like that has a lot to do with it. For example, when Paul Stahl and Dante played their first year in Israel, they were almost to the point of getting cut because nobody knew who they were. Hmm. And you see they wanted to end up winning the championship. But just not knowing, I think that's the main thing. Also, the Maccabi Tel Aviv's the bright, you know, team, and they've they've been around as far as winning for so long. Usually, the X is pointed towards them, but they don't have David Blue this season. They don't have David Blatt. Obviously, he's in the NBA, so a lot of people might look towards uh, you guys or how Polish or Lyon. How, how would that make you feel if people started to put the X on your guys' back? Would you look forward to that challenge, or would you rather the X be in Tel Aviv? Uh, either or. I mean. Either way, you still have to come out and compete and play. So it's um, to me, it doesn't really matter. All right. And, Ike, last question we have for you. Uh, obviously, you know, you played against these NBA teams this uh, past exhibition. I'm curious who you think is the favorite, who you like to win. A lot of people like the Spurs. A lot of people like the Cavs that LeBron is back with the team. I want to know, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win the title this year in the NBA? Oh, that's a tough one. Um that's a tough one. I'll say my top three. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> top three, uh, Spurs, Cavs, and the Bulls. Yeah. I think, you know, I think out of the East, it's either the Cavs or the Bulls. I, I love uh, Joe Keem Noah. You don't see a guy that leads his team in assists and rebounds and wins defensive yeah, exactly. player of the year. So he's a little bit of a nut, too. Um, <laughs> I don't know you if need he's those on the team though. You need some of those on the team. Well, your your guys' nut might be Leroy, you know, Leroy Hickerson. So. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Every every championship team needs a nut. I know that. All right, all right, Ike, stay healthy. We're glad you're back. We're glad you're playing. And uh, thank you so much for being on the show tonight. We really appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right, be well. All right, that was Kabi Haifa's Ike Overbu here on Lewis.